So now we are going to analyze the captured file which we captured during the MITM attack. So let's just stop it for a second and let's just save this file as well on desktop or wherever you want. So I'm going to save it on desktop and the extension will be uh, Wireshark PCP dump pcap. Let's just give it the name long sniffed. And let's just save it right so first of all we should know the ip of our victim to analyze the file we should know the ip of our victim so that we can filter out all the packets um, on ip basis right so our uh, victim ip was 192.168.25.103 right so let's just type ip in the filter box at the top and let's just give dot a double D R double equals and then we have to type the IP right 192.168.25.103 right and let's just click on the filter button so it's going to filter all the packets related to the IP whether it's from source or destination uh, it will it will show all the packets related to the uh, vector IP right so as you can see these are the packets related to vector IP right so while doing MITM attack uh, most of the time we are interested uh, only in HTTP packets right so let's just do and percent and let's just type HTTP right so it will display packets related to HTTP and with the vector IP right so now we are applying two filters we are saying that we need packets from this IP and the packets should be the protocol of HTTP right uh, so as you can see there are multiple packets over here uh, let's just try to analyze few packets so over here you can see uh, the data in the packets right so we can see the sites which we have visited right and there are multiple post packets as well uh, I'm going to show you how you can analyze only post packets as well in a second and there are multiple get packets as well right so you can see there are images as well captured on this uh, URL which we visited so let's just do method or request method double equals post right so it will only display packets uh, with HTTP and post packets right all right so now you can see there are only post packets are displaying so we have if you remember in the previous video we filled out the form as well so let's just try to find that packet right in the post packets so let's just first try to find the ip of that uh, uh, site so as you can see this is the ip the destination ip because we are seeing the source ip over here which is our victim ip and it's going to this destination right and over here you can see the host over here right so this is the destination ip so let's just type one more filter in which we will say ip dot destination and double equals and we will type the ip of the host which is this and let's just hit enter and it will further uh, filter out all the packets right so as you can see we just have one post packet on this ip right and it's it's uh, the host is this right so let's just try to analyze this packet so as you can see uh, the form which we filled out in the previous video we can see it over here and this is the very sensitive information as you can see uh, in the same manner we can also receive 
the login forms and other forms as well right so we can do the same uh, we can apply the same concept on login form if the if the if there is a mitm attack going on uh, and uh, if the user just logged in into any site uh, we will also capture that packet and we can analyze that packet uh, in a way i have shown you over here right so this is how you analyze packets uh, through wireshark uh, right so in the next video we are going to see another scenario in which we are going to attack from one network to another network right